Hey teachers! In last week's video, I showed you how to declutter your workspace and get organized by using Google Keep, which is a free Google app. In this week's video, I want to take it a step further and show you how you can customize your Google Keep account by creating fun, unique headers for all of your Google Keep notes. Before we dive in, I just quickly want to ask if you could take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. We create all of this content here for free on my channel and by taking the time to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it enables us to keep producing free content for teachers around the world. So now let's go ahead and jump into Google Keep. If you are specifically looking for a Google Keep tutorial, how to use it, all of the different features and functions, I made that video last last week and uploaded it to my channel. So just go down to the description and you can find that link here. But if you already know how to use Google Keep, but you're looking to customize your notes, you're in the right place. Now there are several different ways that you can customize your Google Keep headers. And I like to use Canva to do it. And the reason I like using Canva versus PowerPoint or some of the other different options is because Canva has a lot of pretty pre-made templates that make it super quick and easy to use. And you can also save all the headings that you've made so that way you can keep coming back and duplicating them if needed. Now, Canva does come with a free version and a paid version. And I want to preface before we jump on the computer and show how it's done that you do not need a paid account. I use Canva every single week for all different purposes and I do everything with a free account. So I really don't think you need the paid account unless you really want it. But let's go ahead and jump on my computer. I'm going to show you how to create these custom headers and then transfer them into Google Keep. All right, so you are going to want to start by going to canva.com. You will need to create a free account to be able to use this. And then once you're logged in, click on create a design in the upper right hand corner. And then I click on custom size. Now I find what works best for Google Keep is first of all, click on the drop down menu and change it from pixels to inches. I like a width of two inches and a height of five tenths or half of an inch and then click on create new design. Now this box right here is what we will be creating in and the reason I like using Canva compared to PowerPoint or some other options is because it gives you all of these templates that you can choose from over here. So there's lots and lots of pretty things that will save you a lot of time. Now one thing to keep in mind, like I've already said, I do not recommend paying for a paid account. But if you don't have a paid account, you can't use everything. So this one up here, you see it has the little crown for pro that you will not be able to use unless you have a paid account. But you'll notice as I start hovering over these, anything that says free, I can use. So you'll see there's tons of options here for free. Now, a couple things to keep in mind if you decide to use a template. First of all, something like this is not going to work well inside of Google Keep. You have to keep in mind that everything that you create is going to look much smaller inside of Google Keep. Think how big those notes are. That's how big these images are going to be. So this image right here is not going to work because this cursive text, once it gets smaller, is going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to read. Also, this text right here is way too small. You're not going to be able to read it once you put it in Google Keep. So make sure you are selecting a font or a template that has a big, bold font that is easy to read. The other thing to keep in mind, something like this that has an image on it, it's going to get smaller and you're probably not going to be able to make out very well what this image is. Same thing with this font and circle here. So keep in mind that you can pick something with different colors and a fun design, but things like this, these images and these small details are not going to show up. So you want to pick something with a big, bold font and no small images and details. So as I scroll through here, I think something like this would be perfect. So I'm going to change welcome to the title of one of my notes, which is weekly to do. And I can stretch it to make it bigger. I am also 
going to get rid of this small font there. I don't need it and it's going to be too small. I can highlight the font. If I want to try to get it all on one line, I can do that, but I just recommend that you play with the fonts and get them kind of where you want them to be, both in terms of size and where they're located. So that looks really good. It's pretty, it's big, it's bold, it's easy to read. Now also notice when I was working on the font, you can completely customize things up here. So you can change the size, the color, you can completely change the font altogether if you want to. But now that I've got this one done, I want to create a matching one for all of the other notes that I have in my Google Keep right now. So to do that, I'm just gonna click this little icon here and this is going to duplicate it. Now keep in mind, you could create a completely different header or image for each of your notes. I like to keep them the same just with different text because I like consistency. But this is all about customization. So do what makes you happy. So I am just gonna change the text on this now. Um, this one is going to say social studies books. And then I'm just gonna adjust it to get it to the size that I need. There we go. All right, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep duplicating two more times so that I can create the headers for the other notes that I have in there as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up just so that way it doesn't get too long. All right, that's perfect. Those are all the headers that I need for right now. And the other nice thing about working in Canva is you can save everything here in your account. And so next time I create another new note inside of Google Keep, I can just duplicate this and quickly create a new header that looks exactly the same as everything else. So it's easy to keep coming back to and creating a new one for your notes. Now what I wanna do is I wanna download these so that I can then use them in Google Keep. So I'm just gonna click on download in the upper right hand corner and you'll pick this drop down menu here and you can decide do you want all of them, which I do, or you can go through and just select the ones that you need. So if you come back later to create more, you won't need all of the beginning ones. Then just click done and you'll go ahead and click on download. Now once you do that, it will pull up a folder with all of your downloads and you'll just want to save those to your computer. So after you've created your headers and you've saved them to your computer, now it's time to upload them in Google Keep. So after you have saved your images or your headers to your computer, go to your Google Keep account. So here's my account. These are the same notes that I created last week in the Google Keep tutorial. So to add my header images, I'm gonna hover over the note that I want, and then I'm gonna click on the add image icon. I'm going to find where I saved that image on my computer, and I'm just gonna upload it. So now you can see my custom header is here, and if I want to, I can even get rid of the heading or the title that I initially created, because since it's here, I don't really need that typed one anymore. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the same thing with each of my other notes. I am going to hover, click on add image, find that image and upload it. So there you have it. I have uploaded my header to each of these notes and you can tell it's a lot more personalized. It's a lot more me when I look at it and it's a lot more fun. Something that's really neat about creating these custom headers for your Google Keep notes and list is that the custom headers will appear no matter where you are viewing your notes and list. So if I open Google Keep on my phone, I can also see all of those custom headers that I applied to the notes. They're not just on the computer. Now I showed you how to use a template in Canva to create those custom headers, but let's say you do not want to use a template. You want to use your own fonts, your own backgrounds, your own designs, whatever. You can still do that in Canva. So very, very quickly, we're going to jump back on my computer again, and I'm going to show you how to start from scratch without a template. And this also does not take very long. So if you want to create your own without using a template, that's also very easy in Canva. You can just click the add page instead of duplicate and it will give you a blank page that you can work on. I can click the square up here and change the color of it. Then I can click text and add my text to it. And once again, I can use the toolbar up here 
to change it to just about anything, increase the size, do whatever I want to do with this text. And then I can also add in some fun little elements. So maybe I want to add a flower. I can search for a flower and see if there are some free flowers that I can maybe use, something like this would work great here. But as you can see, there's just lots of different options for customizing and creating things that are really fun, even using the free Canva. All right, so there you have it. That is how you're going to create your own custom headers inside of Google Keep. And this is something that's really fun to do because it's just personalized, it's more interesting to look at. I enjoy doing this, but go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know, are you using Google Keep this school year? And if so, what exactly are you using it for? I would love to hear from you. And until next time, happy teaching.